I have a question for you. What does this city know about sport? What does a city that has an ancient and noble history know about sport? Well, I'll tell you. An awful lot more than many other cities. You see, it takes a certain type of people to understand sport and all that it has to offer. It takes generations of sporting experience that continues to run deep in every one of us. Because that's who we are. Limerick people. Because we are the very heart of sport and all that goes with it. And we're not from Dublin. We're not from Cork. We're not from Galway. We're from Limerick. And sport is just one of the things that we do best. But the biggest memory I have of Limerick supporters was when we were beating Doll Island in 2007. We arrived back, very dejected, and we came down on Door Collins Street. And there was 30,000 people there to greet a losing team. But a team that had given its all, and its all during the course of the year. And that is show epitomised Limerick at its very best. We have the best supporters in Ireland. I was lucky enough to have played for Limerick and Waterford and the international team. And as a consequence, I was all over the world. America, Australia, Argentina, you name it, I was there. And the one thing that I was always proud of was, Limerick was always after my name. And I'm very, very proud to have done that. And it's hard not to be proud of our city, because we are all proud of what makes up that special place, that historic place, that funny place, that sporting place. You, me, every last one of us, we are all part of this city, Limerick City, and what has now been named European City of Sport. <laughs> 